Hi, welcome to the Lodestone. My name is Mark Hooper. This session is titled Creating Audio with Narration and Music Using Adobe Audition CS6. Today's demo will include topics covering how to import an existing WAV file as background music into Audition, create a multi track session using this background music file, arming a blank track in the multi track session to record our narration, adjust the individual track volume levels, and then finally, we'll take a look at how to export this multi track file out as an MP3. Let's get started. So as you can see, I have Audition open and I'm ready to import my background music. I'm going to select File, Import, File, navigate to the location where my music file is. I'll select it and click Open or on the Windows machine, I'll click OK. I have my background music ready to go here in my Files panel and I can also see it in my Waveform Editor. In Audition, you're going to be working in both waveform and multi-track. I'm going to sample in the waveform editor. I'm trying to determine a location where I'd like for my narration to begin. So at the bottom of the waveform editor, using my controls, I'm going to click on play. This would be a great location for my narration to begin right here. The problem is I have a little bit too much of a musical introduction. I'll take care of that in the multi-track editor by trimming the clip, but at least I have a good idea of exactly where I want to insert my narration. Now to get this file into a multi-track session, I'm going to go to my files panel, right click and choose insert into multi-track new multi-track session. I'm going to name this narration with background music. Choose a location for my file. And I'm just going to use the same location that I used to save my background music, my original background music file. And click OK. Now that I have this in a multi-track session, I'm going to move this music track down to track 2 and use track 1 to record my narration. I'm going to click on the bar here for the background music and simply drag it down to track 2 and then I'll update the name of track 2 to be music. By clicking on the name, you can simply just rename it. I'll go up to track 1 and go ahead and rename it narration. So now I need to trim off the long introduction of this background music. I'm going to take my mouse over to the edge of this clip and when I see the red bracket with the black arrow, I'm going to click and drag over towards that location that I saw that I'd like to have my narration begin. I don't want to go all the way there because I want to fade the music in up into a few moments before that spot. So I think this would be a good location here. To move the background music file back over or the clip back over to the beginning, I could click on the clip and drag it, or if I right click in the gap here and choose ripple delete, select gap, it'll automatically move it over for me. Now to fade in this track, each clip in the multi-track editor have these little squares at the top left and right corner for fading in and fading out. This particular piece already is fading out at the end. I just need to fade the beginning. So I'm going to go to the square here for fade in and I'm going to click and drag and I'll see a line indicating exactly where the fade will begin and end. So I'm going to drag this over slightly. Then I'll come down and play the file to listen to that fade. hit my space bar, which is the keyboard shortcut to play and pause. And then on the keyboard, I can select home, or I'll just simply click and drag the playhead back to the beginning and prepare to add my narration. Now, in my case, 
I'm not using headphones, so it would be a good idea if I mute this music while I'm recording so it doesn't get into my narration. On the music track where I see M, I'm going to select that to mute this track. Now I'll go up to my narration track and there is an R button here to arm this track for recording. So let me select that and as I am speaking here, I can see a level indicator and instead of recording in stereo, my microphone records in mono, so let me switch the input from stereo to mono. I'll select the arrow, come down and choose mono, front left for my device, and now I can see that it has balanced that mic into both channels. So now that I'm ready to start recording, I have my music muted. I'll come down to the controls at the bottom. The red circle here is the option to record. So I'll go ahead and select to record. Welcome to Lodestone. Today we're going to edit narration and music together using Adobe Audition. We're glad you're here. Let's get started. So I clicked on the stop. Now notice that in my narration, I have a little bit of narration that was picked up because I clicked record before I was actually going to begin my narration. It's not a problem. I can come up using the same method that I did with the background music and just trim that piece out. You can also see that my narration is beginning in the approximate location that I wanted it to begin here. I'm going to move my playhead back before the narration and select play to listen to that. Welcome to Lodestone. Today we're going to edit narration and music together using Adobe Audition. We're glad you're here. Let's get started. I hit my space bar to pause it. Now I want to hear it with the music. So I'm going to unmute this track. The music track, I will take the M there to unmute it. And I'm done with the narration, so I'm going to click on the R to release it from recording. If I move my playhead back to the beginning and listen now, I'm going to probably have music that's a little overpowering than the narration, but we'll take a look at how we can adjust that. Welcome to Lodestone. Today we're going to edit narration and music together using Adobe Audition. We're glad you're here. Let's get started. So just as we suspected, the music is a little too overpowering for the narration. What we're going to do is use the mixer panel to get a better blend of the music. Now one of the options I'd like to take here so that I could have the music and the narration playing repeatedly would be to put this on a loop so I can continue listening to it until I get the ideal levels for each track. I'm going to come down and take the option here to loop playback. Then I'm going to choose my mixer panel and I can see my narration and music channels here and I don't have my play bar available but remember my space bar on my keyboard allows me to start and pause the playback. So I'm going to go ahead and start that by pressing my space bar. I'm going to come to the music levels and click to drag that down a little bit. And then maybe I'll increase the gain on my narration. Because it's on loop, I can now hear these levels. Today we're going to edit narration and music together using Adobe Audition. We're I'll press my space bar to pause it, go back to my multi-track editor. I've got good levels now. I'm ready to export this out as an MP3. I'm going to come up and choose File, Export, Multi-track Mixdown, Entire Session. I'll leave the file name, Narration with Background Music Mixdown. 
The location is the same as the location that I saved my session. I can choose from these different formats. I could choose QuickTime, Wave, MP3, MP2. We're going for an MP3 compressed file to bring into, say, an e-learning module. So a nicely compressed file. I'm going to choose MP3 and then click OK. Audition has now exported the file and also added it back into our files panel. If I double click to select that file now, it opens it up in my waveform editor. I'm going to take my loop playback off, make sure my play is at the beginning, and now play my file. Welcome to Lodestone. Today we're going to edit narration and music together using Adobe Audition. We're glad you're here. Let's get started. Let's review what we've covered in this session. We imported existing background music into Audition, used that file to create a multi-track session, armed a blank track to record our narration, used our mixer to get our volume levels right with the narration and background music, and then exported that multi-track file out as an MP3. We want to thank you for being with us at Lodestone, and for additional tutorials or more in-depth training, please visit the Lodestone website.